I had just finished my first solo raid on a juicy rat hole on center for some huge profit. However, I'd have to make my way back to home base on Genesis 2 as it was quite important. Alright, let's see. With everything we have now, we should be able to make a ton of C4. Oh damn, okay. 25, I mean, not the most insane amount. What are we short of? Oh, it's actually something very simple. Hide. Uh, here we go. Now we should be able to make a lot of C4. Yep. Okay, that's much better. I'm gonna make 13. I'm sure you're curious as to why I was making this much C4. Well, while scouting the different hidden base locations along the center border, I not only found the base I had raided, but another as well. This rattle was far stronger than the one I faced prior as it had far more turrets watching one entrance. The entire base gained its support from a lonely cliff platform and I was going to use that very support to get in. You see, they had turrets from the beginning of the cliff platform all the way to the ceiling but not to the ground, and using the flak I had gotten previously, theoretically speaking of course, I should be able to use the grapples to bypass all of the turrets by heading directly underneath that very cliff platform. Alright, I guess here goes nothing. Oh. I had suffered a few shots, but overall, thanks to the flak, I was able to make it past the turrets. Now you've got to be kidding me, is the cl Are you telling me we blew- <sighs> The cliff platform was undamaged, perhaps the C4 clipped onto a structure above. At least that's what it seemed like, as there were a few bags floating in the air. So instead I returned with a snow owl. I ain't playing these games no more. No more, yeah, I ain't playing these games. No more. Cause I ain't playing these games no more. Yeah, I ain't playing these games no more. I am playing these games. Snowall, you are always so dear to me. Here we go, Snowall. This is what you were with you and I- Oh, damn! This is what you and I were born to do. The Snowall sacrificed itself. Do not bring me down with you, Snowall. Oh my. The snow all served us well. It was able to get us in an advantageous position and we could use it to take out the turrets. One by one, the turrets soon became defenseless bags filled with ARB. I'm sorry, snow. All. It just had to be this way. At the corner of my eye, I spotted a pathway. Wait, can we get access to the... No, please don't tell me I'm stuck. Nah, we're fine. We gotta use our rockets wisely. How many turrets do they have left? Oh, it's only- What? Oh, it's two autos. We gotta also be careful. We can put these boots on, I guess. I equip the tech boots as some protection is always better than none. Okay, I, I shouldn't die. Oh, damn. He's looking at me. Okay, that's both. Okay, nice. With all the turrets out of the way, I went ahead to collect the bags of ARB and proceeded to blow into the base. Ow. There goes our flak leggings. Although we do have armor. Man. Okay, I'm just gonna use the rocket launcher. We don't have time for this. Are you kidding? <laughs> internal, no. <laughs> oh man, the internal was here the whole time. No. The last line of defense. Thank you. Now it should only be 2C4, right? That, that should only take 2C4. But that's what I just don't understand is how it takes... More than 2c4 for a door. A double. I mean, I know it's three, but I, I guess it. No, I guess, yeah, we're just a tad bit off. Not again! 
You did this. This entire- Oh, no, 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 that's overkill. This entire time, my whole life I've been searching for you. This is what you get with- For everything you've done to me, Mr. Jürgen Wergen. I can't believe I finally come face to- Jeez, you are not doing well for yourself, eh? Fabric- Gee. Industrial for- Okay, that's what I'm talking. Look at all that charcoal. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take all of that. We, we take that. We take that. Now, here's where it's at. Mr. Jürgen has been hiding his loot. Trust me, I know this guy. We've known each other for a long time. I know the way. <gasps> the new machine. Can, let, let's see if we can damage the new machine. And this vault at the same time. And the smithy. And also that storage box. So we've got to put a C4 here for the storage box. We gotta put C4 here for the incubator, e egg incubator, and then smithy. Okay, let's step back. Ooh, what's this? Refrigerator? Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh, yes! High level blood stalker male! And PT, please be PT line, please be male. Okay, it's two females though, but we have an egg and lots of meat which we can use to raise babies. Let's go, man! Oh, man, if I, like, that was gonna disappear in 15 minutes. Holy. Okay, Kim Binge. Why does that take him? 10k gunpowder. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. 10k gunpowder. Just like that. What's inside here? Have a bit of lag. That's okay. Uh, it's a kit. A very cheap kit. And egg incubator does not seem like it had anything. Oh, okay. Smithies. A bunch of hide. I'll actually take the hide. Wood we can take. For wood purposes. Yes. And then that was the fabricator, so... Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, so, so... They had two fabricators. Okay, there we go. Polymer, bunch of metal, paste, and electronics. Now, in order to get into this base spot, you can only get in here with a tame or the unorthodox method, which would be to simply make a ton of grapples and then come in here. So this guy... Oh, no, we, we did get tames, though. We got a bloodstock and two PTs. Okay, so I was I was tr trying to come to the conclusion that he has to have tames in this vault, but he doesn't necessarily have to have that because we already got tames that could easily get into the space. Okay, one more C4, I think, should do the trick. One or two more. My money's on one. I'm going all in. Man. Okay, vault, we have a bag. Hungala hula, ma hungala hilama. These, okay, we got, we, got, we got a ton of BPs. Okay, so chainsaws. I'll take all the chainsaws. Gas ARB. All right, let's uh, ascendant armor. Argentavis BP. Not sure if I'll use it. Patchy Rhino. Rex BP. Fifty armor. Okay. Nice hatchet BP. Pick BP. I guess this is the prominent one. Uh, seeds. I'll take. And then just some flax, so nothing too crazy, but we most certainly made our monies back with all the gunpowder we got from these guys. Just look at all of that. Look at, look at this. Look at that, mate. Definitely made all our profit back, just alone of that. And, oh, I remember this one thing. Alright. Hungala hilama, hungala hilama. 3C4, so it was worth the rocket. Okay. Uh, gasoline, another chainsaw, uh, we have a bit of fab, I'll take the tranks, and yeah, I'll leave that behind. We will always, we need to take a moment for our snow level 142. He served us good, or she, we're still unaware of the gender, uh, I guess the least we can do is find that out. She served us well, what an owl. What a beauty. But anyways, we're on to better things. We're rich, we don't need that owl anymore. <laughs> Woo! After paying respects for Arsenal, I headed back, deposited all of the loot, and worked on my XP so that I could upgrade my turrets from autos to heavies. The map I usually go when playing solo is Aberration. I used the portal spawn and grab a 2x node just in front of the portal bridge, as well as a 4x just above and a bit to the right of the bridge itself. Once done, to increase the time I have on my XP boost, I make my way across the green zone to another 2x and 4x note. That way, I'd have just enough time to reach level 100.
things were going well as I just hit my goal of level 100. However, with all good news comes bad. Unfortunately, the map I was playing on, Genesis 2, had a save file corruption, meaning I lost a few of the things that I had acquired from the raid. Nevertheless, these things happen, and the best way to react is by doing this. Sometimes in life, to get back on your feet, you gotta, you know, you, you gotta start off. Uh, let me just show you, so you guys understand where I'm coming from, you know, because it is a bit unfortunate. We lost a bit of our stuff with the rollback, but you know, that's fine, because we can get those things back. Step one, after you lose your things to a rollback, is simple. You gotta find a poor person. Now, luckily for me, while I was out there getting level 100, I was lucky enough to find a poor person. And he was living right around... Right around... Oh, just there. So first, you gotta analyze the poor person's base. Oh no, they got that guy. Okay, well, step one. You're gonna need some C4 for step one. So you take the C4, you place it by the gate. Don't worry, this is all part of the plan. Once the C4 is placed by the gate, you run away, preferably behind a tree or behind, in my case, I guess behind a rock, right? Now you'll notice their base is exposed. You'll also notice that the Thames, for whatever reason, ow. They don't seem to be on neutral. So we can run right over here. And because it's a double door, it takes 3c4. Blowing through this wall over here won't make that much of a difference. Ow! And once you blow inside, you'll notice the turret is still online. But you'll be inside the base. Now the turret is no longer online and we can get to the big profit. Which... Well, now it's just cryopods, hide, fiber. Okay. Okay. But here we have internal. With, oh, this is one of them like compact bases. Okay, we, we, need, we need to get our, our bloodstock in here. Now, you may think it's smart. You know, take out the parasol first. But no. There's a bigger threat. Oh, no. They even have a dire bear. Okay. I'm going to take out. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to die below. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't know it was like that. Okay, that was close. That was a close one. That wasn't part of the plan. I mean, it was. All of this is obviously part of the plan, but ha! You see, what's the Dye Bear gonna do now? There is nothing the Dye Bear can do. Now, he should ignore me. He'll be focused on... The Bloodstalker, yes. Notice how he is focused on the Bloodstalker and not me. While we are at it, we should probably... Oh, no, okay, that's locked. So I'm gonna go ahead and... I guess just plop a C4 on this... Hatch frame, so it'll damage the Fabricator, and... I'm gonna go away from the base and see if the Diaby locks onto me. He is not interested in me. He does not care that, that I am raiding. Excuse him, what? Damn, everyone's looking at what's happening to the poor Ravager. Alright, here, here's the big profit. This is what they told me about. Okay, 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 okay. That's okay, 2K Poly. Okay, okay. Narcotic. Very nice, narcotic. Okay, we got something. Okay, Kitan. You know, uh, obviously, this is what we'll expect, you know, but we, we, we're on our come up. Now, we can go in K mode. Or is it Bob Dog running around? I don't think there's much up there and I don't think I have anything to get up there. Although I can, I guess, blow through the ceiling. Is, is this his? No, this is, this is just some random stego. So I guess I'll just put this down here. I will run away so the stego does not get angry at me. Oh, no! This is the player! Ooh, mining drill. Now that's what I'm talking about. There we go, more narcotics, tranks. You know, nothing co uh, too insane in comparison to, to what we were getting earlier, but the, it's all about the come up. We need to take whatever we can get. This A or B, we just... The, the, that, that metal... Damn, is he still busy? Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, let's go. Let's get out. We got the profit and we out of the scenes. So, you know, we, we, we made our prof. Oh, sh oh, I just realized the parasol. We c I come in peace. Well, that's lucky for you, you know. Uh, if, I, if I didn't do it, someone else was bound to do it. That's just the way it is, you know. That's what I tell myself so I can sleep at night. That's the way I justify it. But we raided the poor person and look at us now. We're on the rise. This is just the beginning. Indeed it was. With the profit we had gotten from the raid, I made my way over back to home base and made some necessary upgrades. I've been meaning to do for a long time now. I just wanna quickly judge. Okay, so coming through the entrance. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be this one. Oh, uh, there we go. Any second now. Okay, we just got a bit of lag. No worries there. Let's see, we take this turret. We pick him up. Pick him up. Because he cannot do it himself. We go through the door. Okay, there we go. We put the turret inside. We put an auto inside and out comes a heavy turret. Let's go. The only thing we're really lacking to make more heavies is electronics right now. But at least we get to put down our first heavy, which is huge. First heavy of the wipe going down. You know, in life, you always gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta celebrate the small things. And, you know, no matter how small it is, you know, it's the small wins, you know, win by win. You're gonna make it, trust me. And boom. Now I feel much safer in my little rattle having that having that one heavy. Definitely feel much safer though. Although it may have only been one heavy, I most certainly felt much safer. And where I'm going to be in today's video. Make sure to check out my Discord as well as subscribe. Link to that in the description below so you never miss out on an upload. And if you would like to see any more of my videos, then feel free to check out any on screen or any on the channel. Other than that, I hope you guys do go out and have a great rest of your day. And until next time, this has been your boy Sinzar, signing out. Peace.